Hey guys, what is good? Welcome back to a brand new video. Generally speaking, between sneaker brands, of course, they're all competing to maybe create the most affordable sneaker, maybe the best quality, maybe the most comfortable, maybe the best looking pair of sneakers. Now, when it comes to these designer brands, let me tell you, they are competing on a whole different level. These guys are competing to make just the craziest, ugly ass, insane pairs of shoes you have ever seen in your life. So I thought it'd be a heap of fun to compile a list of my top 10, just the craziest sneakers I could find from these designer brands. And let me tell you, when I went down this path, it, it's a pretty dark and scary path. So we're not gonna waste any more time. We're gonna jump into it. This is the top 10 list of the worst designer sneaker fails. Getting into number 10, and I'm gonna let you guys into this. I'm gonna let you guys in pretty easy. We have the Saint Laurent high top sneaker. Yes, I am letting you guys in pretty easy. This is definitely nothing like some of the ones I have on this list. But let me tell you, this still is a terrible shoe. This sneaker looks like something you would find in your really cheap ass clothing store where they just, they happen to offer sneakers. It has this really weird worn effect and the midsole, what the hell? The midsole is all worn down and dirty and it has like this graffiti text saying smoking forever. What the hell does anybody want to walk around with a dusty ass midsole saying smoking forever? Saint Laurent is 100% smoking forever if they think that anybody wants to spend damn near 700 pounds for this this terrible looking shoe. Right, number nine on the list, and this one is just honestly, it is just sad. Is this all you could come up with? Mason Margiela. This is the Mason Margiela paint splatter sneaker. Like I said in the beginning of the video, listen, Mason Margiela, are you even in the game? Have you seen what the competition has? The Balenciaga, all of these insane brands that are putting out the most bizarre stuff and all you could do is come up with a shoe, maybe pass it on to your interior designer to paint the walls for a day and then you turn up with this. Oh yeah, and they're asking just over 400 pounds for this pair of shoes, so um, yeah. Right, number eight on my list and possibly the most random pair of shoes I've ever seen in my life is the Paul Smith Apple Print sneakers. So. <laughs> So as you can see by the look of this shoe, okay, it's it's a mix between like a sneaker midsole and outsole and just kind of like a work shoe on the top. And then they put an apple print on the shoe as well. I mean, what? And these just are no different. These are going for about 450 pounds. So uh, equally ridiculous with design and price point. Right, number seven on my list and just blam, here is the picture. Yes, it is a rip off, right? It looks exactly like a Jordan 1. I mean, the paneling, everything about it, and you look at the side and suddenly they have this weird skeleton foot thing going on, kind of reminds you of some other Nike sneaker. You know what I bet happened? They were scrolling through wish.com and they found this design from one of those weird little ripoff brands and uh, they just ran with that. The other person who's gonna spend 700 on a Air Force One skeleton Jordan 1 ripoff, then uh, be my guest. Right, so you guys remember the Mason Margiela paint splatter shoes I was just talking about? Well, yeah, kind of called them lazy there. I take that back 100%. Take a look at number six. This is the Mason Margiela distressed drip effect sneaker. Whew. This shoe looks like it has been through some shit. I mean, what the hell happened to this pair of shoes? Like every single person involved in designing this shoe got an opportunity to just abuse the heck out of it. Just take out their anger on this pair of shoes uh, and then put it out there for 1,300 pounds. Of course, this list would not exist if it wasn't for our good friends over at Balenciaga to come through and hit us with the, uh, the soccer sneaker. Okay, so first of all, if you take a look at this picture, right, it looks like, I mean, it kind of looks like a, a football, a soccer shoe. If you've ever played a sport that requires cleats, right, this is pretty much what a lot of the olden day cleats look like. So this is literally a soccer cleat that Balenciaga is asking you to pay 550 pounds for that you're not going to play soccer in. And if you've ever worn a pair of cleats, right, you understand how, you know, uncomfortable they are unless you're sprinting and running around. You have a bunch of spikes hanging off of the bottom. I don't understand it. I would love to know where or when you would wear this. And we've made it to number four. Have you uh, completely lost your mind yet? So we have the Gucci Ultra Pacer R-Tech sneaker, but just look at it. 
Blech. Really weird color combination. It, I mean, the midsole is like clear with some pink stuff in the middle. If you're gonna buy Gucci, is this is this the Gucci you're buying? They are asking 690 pounds. So damn near 700 pounds for this pair of shoes. All right, number three on the list, and this is just one of the most insane pair of shoes. So Balenciaga made a sock shoe, and then they thought, let's let's uh, let's isolate those toes and let's make it let's make it a toe shoe and then uh, and then let's add a high heel onto it and then they came up with the the toe sock this this really reminds you of those toe shoes that runners used for a while I don't know even know if that's a thing anymore it almost looks like it would move up and down like that so when you kind of step it rocks right so you guys know there's this weird thing that people like to do where they they like to pop bubble wrap I got you the perfect gift right don't buy them the cheap ass bubble wrap go and get them the Moschino Teddy bubble detail sneaker so this Moschino sneaker is literally covered in what looks like bubble wrap very rainbow bubble wrap <laughs> not only that but you have this weird weird stuff on the midsole so it pretty much looks like a clear midsole and then just kind of like you chewed up a bunch of chewing gum and then just stuck it onto the bottom they really went the extra mile to choose this fleshy weird skin tonish kind of color for that bubbly weird midsole oh and obviously they're super expensive at like 350 pounds number one of course it has to be the most bizarre has to be the ugliest and it has to be just the 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 strangest unconventional unusable ridiculous expensive pair of shoes so I bring you the Montclair genius Anderson zip gator shoe so pretty much from this first picture what it looks like is a shoe that you know kind of extends up towards I think over the knee but even if you gave it a practical element the fact that this shoe costs 800 pounds just immediately takes that away unless you're a guy who likes to fish in these bright orange Montclair 800 pound shoes and there's a zip right there's a zip so uh, let me tell you this folds down into a nice little little pouch so this is the little pouch that holds your entire shoes now I believe this is actually both of them I believe they both kind of fold down and then you just stick them together so this is the most counterintuitive piece of garbage and that is why it is at number one so that is pretty much my top 10 list for the biggest weirdest strangest most unbuyable expensive ridiculous designer fails but either way let me know what you thought of the list let me know if you know of some even crazier ones which i don't think is possible by the way but either way thank you so much guys for coming through hanging out liking commenting and of course subscribing i will catch you all in the next one but until then